Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add key value pairs to JavaScript objects. At their most basic, objects are just collections of key value pairs, or in other words, pieces of data mapped to unique identifiers that we call properties or keys. Let's take a look at a very simple example. Here we have FCC user, which is equal to an object with a username of awesome coder. Um, and then their next um, key value pair is how many followers they have. They've got 572. The next key value pair is points. Uh, they've got 1,741 points. And then they've got a key of completed projects, which is to 15. The abo above code defines an object called FCC user that has four properties, each of which map to a specific value. Key value, key value, key value, key value. If we wanted to know the number of followers FCC user has, we can access that property by writing FCC users, this guy, dot followers, dot followers. And then this would run out to 572. This is called dot notation. Alternative, we can also access the property with brackets. If we put inside of the brackets and we put followers as the string, same thing happens. So this is dot notation and this is bracket notation. Both are cool. Um, I use both all the time. Notice that with bracket notation, we enclose followers in quotes. This is because the brackets usually allow us to pass a variable in to be evaluated as a property name. Keep this in mind for later. Had we passed followers in without the quotes, the JavaScript engine would have attempted to evaluate it as a variable and a reference error uh, would have been thrown. Using the same syntax, we can also add new key value pairs to the object. We've created a foods object with three entries. Foods object the foods variable with three objects, with three entries. Add three more entries, bananas with a value of 13, grapes with a value of 35, and strawberries with a value of 27. So, currently we're console logging the foods, and it's coming out apples, oranges, and plums, apples, oranges, and plums. And so what they want us to do, I'm gonna do it first, I'll go, I'll do, um, let's go first, we'll do dot notation. So we're gonna go foods dot um, bananas is equal to 13. And now we've got bananas in here. Bananas 13. Now for the next one, let's go um, bracket notation. Foods. And then here they want us to add grapes, right? And we're going to make that equal to 35. Um, if you want to know, I'm pressing command and then the arrow button, and that allows me to jump back and forth without having to use the mouse. Uh, let's do dot notation again. Foods dot uh, strawberries is equal to 27. And now we have apples, oranges, plums, bananas, grapes, and strawberries. So this is the bracket notation. This is dot notation. And if we run the test, we'll see that that passes. Oh, it doesn't strawberries with a value of 27 s t r a w strawberries there we go if we run the test that pass okay awesome so yeah this is actually super useful stuff um if we were to console log out um instead of just foods we could go strawberries um strawberries um you'll see we get 27 because that's the value that we assigned here and so this is uh, this is J JavaScript object notation. This is super valuable. Most all you, uh, most most of the API work that I've ever done has always been about accessing data using utilizing this kind of object notation um, writing. Um, in previous examples, we were working with arrays. In arrays, you just have this is just zero and this is one and this is two, and that's because they're enumerated objects. That's really all an array is. But um, I don't know, if that went over your head, don't worry about it, but basically you really wanna know this stuff. This is how we can add to objects using, um, uh, yeah, object notation. What do they call this specifically? Key value pairs. Um, yeah, uh, bracket notation and dot notation, and we can add data to objects using this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.